Hi everyone and welcome to an introductory video on how to make gradients in Photoshop. In this lesson we'll learn step by step the basics of how to create gradients and how to use them. So let's get started by creating a new document by going to file and then clicking on new here or clicking on the create new button here. Now we're just going to use one of these preset document sizes and then click on create. This will give us a blank canvas to work on and experiment creating our gradients. From here, press G on the keyboard or select the gradient tool from the toolbar here. Now if it's not visible, simply click and hold on the paint bucket tool and then you'll see that we've got some new options here. Now we can select the gradient tool. With the gradient tool selected, the new gradient bar at the top left will now appear. This will display what colors we'll be using when creating the gradient. Clicking on this will then open the gradient editor. So let's go ahead and click on that. And here you'll be able to select from a selection of preset gradients from the menu. Now, as I click on each of these presets, you'll notice now that the gradient bar at the bottom also changes. This means that the preset gradient has been selected. Now to use the preset gradient, simply select it. So I'm going to select this one here and then click on OK. And then use the gradient tool by clicking and dragging along the area that you want to apply, like so. Excellent. Now let's say we wanted to change the colors of the gradient that we're using. So I'm just going to press Control Z or undo here. So to change the colors of our gradient, we need to open up the gradient editor again. So let's click on this. And from here, let's take a closer look at the gradient bar. Now you'll see here, we've got these small little boxes around our gradient bar. Now these are called color stops which is a point on the gradient where the color is defined and changes from one color to the next. Clicking on a color stop at the bottom of the bar here, we'll select it and will allow us to change the color of the stop using the color picker. So let's say I wanted to change the color of the blue here. I can now click on the color here and using the color picker, we can now go ahead and change it to whatever color that I want. So let's say I want a nice warm orange. So let's change it to a nice warm orange here. Next you'll also want to choose an ending color. So let's go ahead and select the ending color here. And now using the same techniques just going to click on the color box here. And from here we're just going to repeat the process and choose a lighter orange color, like so. Excellent. Now, if you don't want one of these colors, uh, color stops here, all we have to do is click on it and hold and drag the color stop down to remove it. Excellent. Now, once you've done that, click on OK. And now you'll see our gradient bar has successfully changed at the top here. And we can now use the gradient using the gradient tool, like so. Cool. Now that we're familiar with creating and editing a simple gradient, let's go ahead and look at some of the other options to adjust the look of our gradient further. So to do this, let's click on the gradient bar again and enter the gradient editor. Now before we make any more adjustments, let's save our gradient as a new preset. So to do this, all we have to do is simply name our gradient here. So I'm just going to name our gradient here like so. I'm going to call it Summer. And then click on the new button here. Now straight away you'll see that our gradient has been added to the preset. So if we make any changes, so let's say we wanted, we selected some of these other presets here, all we have to do to use our gradient again is to select it like so. Next, let's edit our gradient. Now there are a few things that we can do to change the look of our gradient. First, 
we need to actually move we can actually move the color stops here like so so just clicking and dragging on the color stop along the gradient bar to move them and this will change the look and smoothness of our gradient as the two colors meet like so so if I increase the contrast of the colors by choosing a brighter yellow you'll see how now that we've got a clearly visible midpoint here which is usually represented by this small little diamond icon over here now we can actually adjust the midpoint as well by clicking and dragging on this diamond icon and you'll see by doing so the midpoint where the two colors meet is actually changing so this is one way how we can adjust the look of our gradient you can also add extra colors to the gradient so let's go ahead and create more space here by bringing our colors to the far left and right now in order to add more colors we have to create another color stop so to do this all we have to do is click on the bottom of our gradient bar so you see how the cursor of the mouse changes from an arrow into a hand once it does that we can click to add a stop like so and here we now have a new color stop from here we can choose another color as we did previously so let's go ahead and choose another color so I'm just going to choose a bright color here like so and we can go ahead and choose a create another color stop here just to have more variety and again we can click and drag the locations of the color stops like so so just repeat this technique to create more color stops and remember if we wanted to delete a color stop just simply select the color stop like so and then click and drag it downwards to remove it you can also press delete once the color stop has been selected so you'll notice how at the top of this color stop here you can tell it's been selected by having this black arrow at the top here now the others aren't selected as they are gray but once it's selected you'll notice how it's turned black and with a selected color stop here we can press delete on the keyboard and that will disappear Another thing that we can do here is edit the smoothness value by clicking on the smoothness drop down uh, slider bar here and then just sort of sliding it down or entering a value here to control the gradual transition between the two color bands or however many colors that you have. And finally we can edit the opacity. Now to do this we need to select the stops at the top of our gradient here. So you'll notice we've got one on the left and one on the right. So let's go ahead and select the one on the left here. And now you'll see that our opacity value is now, is now available to us. So let's go ahead and click on the slider bar here. And we can now slide the opacity all the way down and you'll notice as I'm sliding this down you'll see that the opacity of the colors are starting to change now the opacity of a color is represented by this sort of checkered pattern here so when the value is all the way down you'll see that there's no color where the opacity stop is here and then when I bring it all the way back up the colors are back cool now you can also change the sort of um, appearance of where the opacity is by clicking and dragging the stop at the top here and also by changing the midpoint here as well just exactly as how you would with the color stops at the bottom once you're happy with the gradient let's go ahead and name this so I'm just going to name it rainbow and then click on the new button to create a new preset now to save all of the presets as a library all we have to do is click on the save button here and choose a location for the gradient library so I'm just going to enter a name for this so let's name this here and then click on the save button 
this will save your current gradient library in the def default location for Photoshop. However, you can specify a new location if you wish. To load a library, let's go ahead and click on the small cog button near the top right of the gradient editor, which will bring down a new drop down menu. You can load Photoshop's preset gradients from here, some of which you may find very useful, such as the metal gradients. So let's go ahead and click on that and click on OK. Now you can use some of these presets to create a metallic gradient, such as gold, iron, silver, or aluminium. You can also choose to modify some of these and adjust the gradients to your liking using the same techniques that we demonstrated earlier, such as moving the color stops and changing the color. So let's go ahead and reload our previous library by clicking on the load button here and then selecting the touch gradient or whatever you named your library file and then click on load. And there we have it, our preset gradients, which we created earlier on in this class. Excellent. And that's it for this tutorial. Have fun creating gradients in Photoshop, and I'll see you next time on Tuts Plus.